here we have the Multicam MG205. This is a 5x12 table with a 20 horsepower PD vacuum pump and a 10 horsepower Euro spindle with HSK tool holders. The machine also has a new style LED Multicam Easy Controller. And here's a quick overview. We're going to hit home one. The machine moves rapidly in the X and Y and the Z surface depth plus half inch. You can jog at the medium jog speed. You can see that right here on the keypad. The machine's virtually silent in the Y axis, jogging at medium speed. There is the dual servo motors moving on the rack and pinion in the X axis. This machine does have the large ball screw, which we have exposed right now. You can see that on top for the Y axis. We can do multiple directions at one time with the Multicam Easy Controller. And then we'll go up and down in the Z. Also a ball screw in the Z axis, and again this one is virtually silent. Can't really hear that at all. We'll move it to the fast speed for jogging. Now we're going to run a sample file for you. We'll go ahead and hit the DNC button. Loads our sample file we've called circle and square. It's a simple circle and a square cut with tool number one at 350 inches per minute. Validating job and ready to start. See, we had it set to automatically park in the back of the machine when it was done with that rapid park movement. We'll go ahead and run this one more time. To run, rerun a file you already run, you simply hit the start command again, validates the job, and it can start up right where it's at. We're running this one at 12,000 RPM right now. This keypad also lets you know the amperage that the spindle is drawing. That's in the bottom right. We're right around 3.6 as it sits now at this speed, RPM, and obviously we don't have a big load on the tool, we're just cutting in the air for this sample. This has been the Multicam MG205. Okay, next we're going to show the machine homing. So this is the sequence you do when you first turn the machine on in the morning. So what we're going to do is grab the keypad. And to home the machine, we just hit the shift button. Then the upper left green 00 key. Shows initializing spindle. And it'll go through finding Z-axis first. Calibrates the tool changer and then moves in X and Y.
As you can see, the machine homes perfectly. And then that enables us to jog the machine now in X, Y, and Z. Okay, the last thing we're gonna show is the automatic tool changer. This machine has an eight position automatic tool changer and will ship with five HSK tool holders and collets. So we will go ahead and do that tool change. We'll put this tool away. And that is the automatic tool changer.